Okay, picking up from where we left off last time, we created the validation for our uh, register form, but we didn't create uh, a spot to display the errors that our validation found in our form. So let's go ahead and go right down here. I'm going to go right underneath the H1 tag. Let's drop a PHP block here. We're going to perform an if statement. We can do if is set. Errors. Okay. And then we can do colon. Okay. Then we'll do and if here okay so if the error is variable set which is an array we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a div and we give this an ID of errors and then we can just do a simple unordered list and then right in here do a for each loop we can loop through the errors as error okay and the for each okay and then let's do a list uh, give it a class of error so it can be uh, displayed in red and then we'll just echo error okay let's save that all right and let's go ahead and preview that in Firefox Okay, so we have nothing in there. Oh yeah, well, it's not going to show. I forgot that I also did this with uh, jQuery, so everything validates. If nothing validates through JavaScript, the PHP would pick up the Slack. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go right here after the last else we'll do. Dropping a note. Let's, let's do pre. We're gonna prepare or prep info for data base storage. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean up the information that we have. We can uh, do for the first name. Let's strip tags because, you know, little 12 year olds like to try to put JavaScript tags in your forms and pretend that they're hackers when they're really not. So let's do F name. Okay, we can also strip slashes. Alright, and to remove any white space that are at the ends of the inputs, we can just do a quick trim. Okay, so we can just go ahead and uh, copy this, and we'll do it for all of them. So last name this will be for username
All right, just got two more to do. Will be password. And then we just do the same thing for the email. Okay. All right, so that's done. Some of you are thinking, well, this is going to be input and put it into a MySQL uh, database. So shouldn't I do a real, real escape string? Well, we don't have to do that because what um, what I'm using here is a uh, the prepared statements. So let's go ahead and build that. And the prepared statements has a built-in uh, a built-in escape function that's implemented within that class. So we can do, let's go ahead and build our query. So SQL or SQL with equal insert into members and we'll go first name, last name, email password username okay do values and we'll do five question marks okay so let's go ahead and uh, do this. If query equals DB prepare SQL. So if there's no errors with that, it will perform this block. I'm going to do an else. Just in case something doesn't work, we'll display sorry. Um, data, no, sorry, error with database at this time. You know, that will display for the, uh, the user, but <clears throat> and not give out too much information, but we'll know that means there was something wrong with our query. All right, so let's do query, bind parameters, and we're gonna be adding five strings. So to, add, so to do that, we'll do five S's, and then followed by the strings in the order for what the value is supposed to represent. So we need F name, last name, email, password, username. Okay. And now we need to execute the query, which will bind these five strings to the question mark when the question mark will bind the values to the corresponding uh, table row so we do that just by doing query execute okay 
So, if all that goes through, we can do... Let's create a variable called message equals thanks for Roger. Uh, let's do uh, your account has been created. Alright, we can go let's go ahead and go at the end of our form and do the same thing we did for the errors uh, message. We can just do it at the bottom. Do PHP if set G that off if okay now there was something I forgot to do for the password that's going to be important. Right here, we need a MD5 hash the password because that's the uh, we want to have our password encrypted. So we just do MD5 password. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back into Firefox. Refresh the form. We'll do Tim Johnson, username Tim underscore Johnson uh, for password. Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight nine, and we do email at email dot com. All right, so we got we had an error. Let's see what the error could have been. Uh, there we go. Right there. Save that. Resend. Hmm. Let's see if this will work. Okay, we still keep getting an error. All right, let's see if this works right here. Refresh. And again, Tim Johnson. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and figure out what I did wrong. And I'll make sure to point out for you guys when I get back. Okay, I made a very stupid mistake. Uh, maybe you guys spotted it when I first made it. But I was trying to insert into the table called 
first name, that first name. So let me save that. Go back into Firefox, refresh, resend. Okay. Now I got PHP my admin up. Click browse. Everything is in there. Okay, so now that we have our registration created, let's go ahead and uh, start working on the login mechanism.